Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Great Variety on Chenin Blanc. This is our intermediate version. This is ideal for those of you that are studying your WSET level two. If you are studying level one, it may be interesting, but there may be a, a bit more information than you actually need. This is more ideal for your level two. If you are requiring even more information about Chenin Blanc, uh, and you want more history, more etymology, more morphology, and so on and so on, please have a look at, at our advanced version, which is ideal for WSET level three and level four. So let's move on for uh, our first slide, which is all about us. So my name is Jimmy Smith, and my handle there for Instagram and Twitter is at Wine with Jimmy. Um, please get in touch for any comments or questions. I am the owner and founder of two wine schools, West London Wine School and South London Wine School. We are award-winning, won the WSET Riedel Award for Best Educator, plus the Wine Scholar Guild uh, Best Educators. Um, we also have a cool, wonderful wine bar in South London called Streatham Wine House. Uh, so they're the three handles there on the screen. Um, we have hundreds of tastings and courses, both at the school and online. So please have a look at our websites, westlondonwineschool.com and southlondonwineschool.com. It'd be a pleasure to see you soon. Let's move on to our intermediate version of Chenin Blanc. So Chenin Blanc is a great variety which hails from the Loire Valley in France. The Loire Valley is uh, the longest river in France, stretching for over a thousand kilometers. And towards the end of its life, the Loire, as it comes towards the Atlantic, um, we'll actually find most of the places for Chenin Blanc. When you go past the city of Orléans, and then you go past Tours, and Samour, Angers, these areas are where we find the home of Chenin Blanc. Um, it is famed here, making some of the greatest white wines in the world. Um, it will be grown, however, in a variety of climates. So the Loire Valley tends to be cool to moderate, um, but warm climates such as South Africa, Argentina, and also places like California, you will also find Chenin Blanc. So therefore, it is a remarkably versatile grape variety. It's really high in acidity. Um, so this high acid means that they can make quite fresh wines. But also, as the grapes, when they're in the vineyard, you can leave them on the vine longer to actually ripen because the acidities will, will counter this quite well. So the acidities don't drop off as quickly as other varieties. It also means it's remarkably suited to Botrytis style wines. That is the form of noble rot to concentrate the grape sugars. Uh, the acidities are so high that it balances these out. So therefore, you will find not only dry wines, in the Loire Valley and around the world, or in France, sec. It's also produced as sweet wines uh, or botrytis wines around the world. Um, so, as mentioned, versatile, dry to sweet, sec towards dew. Uh, it's very high in acidity, which gives it uh, that capable freshness. Great ability to age because of the high acid plus the wines can be sometimes at the premium end rather complex, you will find that they can age very well. Jancis Robinson mentioned that Chenin is France's Riesling. And those of you that know Riesling know it ages remarkably well or can age remarkably well. So it's one of the great whites in the world for aging. Um, it's normally found as a single variety. So you'll find Chenin Blanc on its own. Uh, but in some places, and even in the Loire Valley, there are a small proportion of them that are blended in Chard with Chardonnay and sometimes Sauvignon Blanc in the Loire, but it's quite rare. In, uh, in South Africa, though, for your WSET level two, you'll need to know that it can be actually found with Chardonnay. So Chenin and Chardonnay for more uh, larger, more inexpensive wines, larger yielded inexpensive wines. Uh, and it's a variety that can and cannot be oaked. It depends on the philosophy of the winemaker. He or she will decide whether their wines need it uh, and can deal with it. Um, this can be a variety of different oaks. In the Loire, it tends to be French and tends to be quite neutral. And in South Africa, it can air towards newer oak, making more buttery 
butterscotch creamy style wines, which can be a little bit like Chardonnay uh, that, you, uh, that you may know from places like um, Australia or California. So it's key places. Uh, you don't need to know anything specific for your level two, but it is from South Africa. It is the biggest area for Chenin Blanc in the world, more than France. And a lot of it is from around Stellenbosch, Pal, and the Svartland. But you need to know that it's capable, of course, in South Africa. And of course, in the Loire uh, in France, is the key area. It is in fact Chenin found in other places in France, but you just need to know here. And the specific AOC, which is required for the level two uh, um, knowledge, is the Vouvray AOC. Uh, so this is in terrain. Uh, it is this little purple area. Just here, next to the city of Tours. Uh, so Vouvray makes um, quite full-bodied, um, quite rich styles at the higher end, but can also be light and fresh when it's more mass-produced. Vouvray will be sec or demi-sec and can even be sweet. And sec means dry and demi-sec means medium dry, so more residual sugar. Um, these wines can be lovely and I'm going to go through the style. The style of Chenin then, because it's found in a variety of climates from cool to warm, it can therefore produce apple, lemon, peach to pineapple. And that's going from cool to warm down that list. You'll often find a marked note of honey and then oak can be found as well. Some younger Chenin Blancs will be more floral and the older ones will get more tertiary and more nutty as they age. Um, but dry to sweet in style, depending, uh, high in acidity, uh, and then with that great ability to age for the very best examples. So that is really it for this level. Please remember if you require more information and more detail about the locations, the history, the etymology, and so on, please find our advanced version, which you'll find in the comments below this. Uh, it's about uh, nearly two to three times longer a presentation. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've learned something and I hope it helps you with your studies of WSET. My name's been Jimmy Smith. I am uh, at Wine with Jimmy on Twitter and Instagram. And I own West London Wine School, South London Wine School and Streatham Wine House, the two wine schools and the bar. I look forward to, to seeing you at one of those, either for a class or a glass anytime in the future soon. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much.